<laughs> hey allihopa and welcome back to the video. Allihopa. <laughs> hey allihopa. <laughs> hey allihopa. <laughs> We're here in Sweden, Gothenburg to be more precise. And yeah. this is <laughs> stuck. Emma, hello. I mean, Emma, we used to live together a long time ago. Just when she was a new mama. <laughs> the baby is three and a half. So she's actually a little bit my baby too because I helped raise her. <laughs> Anyways, that's not what we're gonna talk about today. We are going to talk about getting on a diet, losing some body fat. In the upcoming 10 to 12 weeks, we are on a diet to lose the unwanted FAT. <laughs> <laughs> Emma has been cutting with me before. She's my little student. I'm teaching her everything that I know and she's been getting great results so far. I weighed in so heavy this morning and uh, 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 yeah. because we ate a lot of crap last night so uh, it is okay and you know when you've been bulking it is okay to gain one thing but a fact this is something that i know that a lot of you are struggling with like gaining weight and feel okay with that even though you know that you're also gaining muscle and not just fat i mean if you're doing it right if you don't just sit there and eat chocolate all night like she used to do you are more comfortable with gaining weight now right yes yes because in order to build muscle you need to gain weight Emma used to struggle with a bad relationship to food, used to under eat a lot, which led to starvation and she gained a lot of fat when she did start eating and then she also didn't work out, but now she's looking fantastic. Good work, Emma. I am looking to lose about 10 kilos. Uh, my curved macros are going to be these ones. I was thinking to vlog this now because you asked me on Instagram to keep you updated on my journey because that's what we're doing. But now we're going to be shopping a little bit and that's not part of the fat loss journey except the steps we might getting. <laughs> I'll see you later for a uh, uh, first meal. We're back home, shopping was fun, I picked up a pair of shoes. Very basic because I don't always wear gym clothes most of the times but normally I try not to. Anyways, I want to talk about food for a second and food and diet, losing fat. I'm going to try to make my diet as non-complicated as possible, especially now in the beginning because I usually tend to get too creative and I make food that I just like, it takes me too much time to like prepare it. So I am going to start off my like every day with my favorite meal at the moment, which is brinta. Brinta is like a oat thingy. I just... I don't know, it's like a whole wheat or something, but probably not. So I'm so sorry if I do say something that isn't true. But uh, I think it's like baby baby porridge kind of a consistency. I don't know, I really like it. And I mix it with almond milk, the unroasted kind, because it tastes more like almonds and I really like that. And then I use some sweetener on top and then like some fruit especially now when I do have more calories to work with and as a protein source, I'll only use eggs. That is basically gonna be it for my first meals. And then I'm gonna try to keep it that way because it is a clean meal, it is healthy, and I know what it is and it's easier. I mean, later on in this cut, I will probably have to be very creative as in every cut. So I am gonna play around a lot with foods, a lot of veggies, volume and little calories. Because you know, that is needed when you get low. I did a full day of eating a couple of months back and I am probably going to do more full days of eating on this diet and if there is anything other than that that you would like to see, please leave it in the comments down below. The full days of eating are always fun. Speaking of it, I am going to go edit a full day of eating from South Africa. <laughs> hey, I am so dead today. Yesterday was really hard uh, in the morning because of fasting and I haven't been fasting yet for so long that I'm not used to it anymore like my body is craving food in the morning since I've been having but today is day two and I feel like I'm on day like 50 and also I want to be really honest with you guys 
in these videos as we go along on my cut and my journey of losing some fat and today i have a really 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 shitty day i feel so self-conscious about myself and i usually don't feel that way but i haven't felt this bad about my body and the way i look and the way i feel in a really really long time i don't know if this is because of hormones i'm just a couple of days away from my period uh, i mean obviously the mood changes uh, in the cycle of a woman but i was just at a gym i felt like crap i felt weak i felt bloated and watery and i am watery and i am bloated i know that but i should not be weak <sighs> I just want to tell you that I have really bad days too where I feel like a complete disaster and I just want to go hide in a box and then I also you know I have a new routine so it was my new upper day and I kind of I, I have like a love-hate relationship to new workout routines and it's because it's exciting to start something new but it's also annoying because you kind of like have to look oh what am i doing now what is this exercise and i like just going into the gym and knowing exactly what i'm gonna do and i was also in a new gym today so i was like oh where is all this stuff and they were renovating and i was just like literally confused throughout my whole workout and i just wanted to finish and i was fasted and i was like oh okay enough complaining but i just want to be real welcome to day four Going to the gym! Uh. Oh my god! Mm. <laughs> when that vitamin D hits you, that feeling is just amazing! We're going to the gym. Update on feels on day four. Here's the bench. I'm gonna sit my fat ass down on the bench. That's the feels of day four. Now what? Like, we're running on a little sleep because we have this cute little munchkin right there. And she likes to wake up at 5.30. Uh, we don't like to wake up at 5.30. Especially not when we go to bed at 3.30. Okay, we're gonna down this pre. Train leg, smash it. Build a booty. <laughs> Gym time. Gym time. Okay, let me tell you a little funny story. The girl that you just saw, who was exhausted, not being able to go to the gym almost, just freaking smashed her leg workout. I think the hard part for many people, just as for me, is to get your freaking ass to the gym. But when you're there, you kill it. I don't think anyone has ever regretted a workout. If you have, something is a bit wrong with you. <sighs> Anyways, I'm still fasted. It's four o'clock. I'm ready to eat. I even did cardio. 10 minutes on the Stairmaster and 40 minutes on the treadmill. I'm like, hello, you got this girl. I am going to get a tan before I eat uh, because tanning is also good for my dry spots on my eyes. Uh, I really like the tanning beds here better because it's not like a tanning bed, it's like a tanning standing up thingy. And like when you lay down in a tanning bed, I feel like I get like these white spots like underneath the booty. So I kind of like, if I turn 20 minutes, I kind of lay in my stomach and then I turn around to not like get those lines, you know, underneath your butt cheeks or the little circle, you know, between your butt crack, I don't know. You know what I mean, if you have been tanning. I know it's not good to go tanning too often, but for me, it is kind of good because I have really, really dry skin and like eczema and it's recommended by my doctor. I'm supposed to get like these tanning treatments. It's not like tanning, but it is like a light room you go into and it helps with eczema. The light bulbs are much stronger than in a normal tanning bed. Since I bounce around too much and I'm not here eight weeks or 12 weeks in a row, I can't do that treatment, so uh, I'm recommended to go tanning in a tanning bed here and there. Not too much, not too long, but you know, if you were gonna hate on me for going tanning and not using self tanners instead, you know why now. When I left the tanning place, I got reminded of something else, and that is that I, about a week ago, dyed my hair. <laughs> okay, I was gonna make something cool. I made my hair a little pink, like tinted it pink uh, last week, but I was a little scared, so I only left it in for five minutes and it didn't get as pink as I wanted it to be. So now when I left the tanning place, there was this girl and she also had pinkish hair, but it was more pink and that is the pink that I actually wanted. So I'm gonna go back to the house and I'm gonna put some more pink into my hair because I think that's cool. So this is what the hair looks like at the moment. It's kind of like strawberry blonde. I'm thinking a little more pinkish, maybe like it is over here. If I dare, I mean, if it goes to crap, it's just to wash the hair a couple of times and I think it's, it's out. Let's do it. Oh, I'm freaking out. It's so pink. Woo! I might have had this in a little too long. I don't know, we shall see. I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna reveal a little. <gasps> oh, <yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Emma. <laughs> okay, uh, yes. But it looks kind of cool with my blue eyes. Mm -hmm. Very nice. 
It's also wet now, so that's what she said. I mean, let's dry this up <laughs> and see what it looks like. Honestly, I've done a lot of crazy things in my life, and I've had a lot of hair colors. I don't think it's gonna be as pink as it looks, though. Let's see. And here we have it. My brand new mermaid hair. <laughs> I think it is a little more pink than I expected, but it's still at the same time not in some lights it is is very pink and these parts that has been dyed before are really pink i kind of like it it is like a, a light dusty pink what do you guys think do you like it and this day has not started at all as i would wish for Oh, my eyes are so dry. I have a massive pimple. I'm fatigued. I didn't sleep. I have period cramps. That is not the worst part about this day. I went to the gym and I was going to train legs. I felt like super good. And then I did squats. And I'm so happy to be back at squatting again because of my knee injury. I didn't do it for like a year and a half. I was on my second set. And it's my low rep day, so I had a little bit of heavier weights than I usually do. And it was fine, because I did seven reps, and I'm supposed to be doing like three to six reps. So yeah, I did seven reps, and then I was aiming for another five or so. On my second rep, I don't know what happened, if I got like a cramp or I got distracted. I don't know what it was. I lost the connection with my core. So I lost my core stability, which had me losing, you know, the stability of the squat. So I was down in my squat on my second rep, trying to go up and I like snap forward. So I ended up snapping my freaking back. I've been crying like a baby in the gym, speaking to my physiotherapist. I've been laying on the floor, just like in, in this pain and I can't do anything. It's really, 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 really sucks because it's in the beginning of my cut. It's crucial that I do train normally, like consistently and keeping your strength in a cut to not lose too much muscle mass. This is not fun at all. I am not gonna let this bring me down though. I'm, I mean, at least I'm gonna try to not let it bring me down. I just feel like it just sucks. Yeah, I'm sad. You don't see me sad here a lot, but like this really sucks. <laughs> At least my hair is pink, if that makes me happier. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna break my fast with two boiled eggs, 150 grams of fresh spinach, and a bowl of brinta. Just as usual, almost. I just wanted to like hop on here and be real because I'm not always happy. Life doesn't always go perfectly smooth for me. Like it's the opposite. But I don't want to be negative. I want to like reflect positivity. And I am positive. It really sucks that I like snap my back. I'm just gonna have to take some days off and rest and stretch. And yeah, I think there's a, a meaning to everything. So whatever meaning this has, then that's the meaning it has. I'm gonna meet my mom a little later today. That's gonna be nice. Emma is gonna take her driver's license. That's good. I'm gonna edit a vlog. That is my plans for today. And then I'm gonna try to sleep early tonight. Day six. You like my hair? I decided to curl it last night when I couldn't sleep and I feel like it looked like a clown in Simpsons. But I really like it. What do you think? Anyways. Bad news yesterday, we leave them yesterday and we bring this new day on because the sun is shining and that makes you happy always. My back is still hurting, I can't train and I shouldn't train for a couple of days. So instead I'm doing a bunch of stretches and walking around like in the apartment and outside and I don't sit for too long because that hurts as well. I just try to stay like daily life active even though I have a lot to edit and edit means sitting up. I'm gonna be adventurous today and break my fast with something else than brinza and eggs. I'm gonna eat mushroom and eggs and chicken with uh, cauliflower and some uh, broccoli. I'm already missing the gym even though it's already been a day. <laughs> Typical me. I just need to let my body uh, get some rest because that is important as well as working out. My meal plan might have changed. I just threw everything into a pan and then threw some chunky salsa on top and uh, uh, also I added paprika to the meal. It turned into a completely different meal than I said before and I just want to show you because it looks freaking pretty and it's super duper delicious. Emma, do you know what happened? Huh? You know what's happening? No. It is day number seven of the cards. 
I haven't been able to work out, as you know, but I just realized now that 1958, aka 7 p.m. that we just finished week number one. Anyways, and I thought we were gonna finish the vlog here because tomorrow we'll start on day number eight. Week number two, I'm excited and I ate a little today, so I'm gonna eat 100 grams of pasta and 200 grams of fish in tomato sauce. I don't know who it is that always comments in my Instagram stories that they hate when I sing, when I talk, but so this is for you. Anyways, if you like the video, if you like my pink hair, if you like anything at all, or if you're excited, then hit the thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are excited on what's to come or next week or the week after or the end result, stay tuned, hit the, uh, what do you call that thing? The bell, so you know when I post. And uh, uh, you have the links for social media down here below in the thingy, thingy. If there's anything special you would like to see in the future videos, let me know down below as usual. Well, I'm gonna leave now.